Hey you guys, I wanted to do a Tip Tuesday video for everybody. Guys, don't stop watching because this is for you. Girls, this is also for you. This is a little home remedy trick that I have been wanting to try, so we're going to try it out together. It is going to be a deep conditioning treatment for our hair and something that you can do in your home that's all natural, that's not going to cost you any money. You could go to the salon, because I've just done this, to pay to get $50 to get your hair deep conditioned, but why go do that when you can do it at home for yourself? You can either have your girlfriend do it to your hair, you can have your boyfriend do it, you can have some girlfriends over, have a girls night. Anyways, you can do this at home and it's awesome. So let's get started. All you need is some oh, olive oil. Um, so this is going to be a deep conditioning treatment for your hair, which is awesome if you live in a cold state like I do right now. Idaho, it's freezing. It's so cold that there is no moisture in the air. Everything is freezing, so therefore the moisture leaves the air and your hair starts getting staticky, frizzy, it gets really dry. If you have like a dry scalp that's itchy, um, this will definitely help you out. So, and if not, obviously it's still good to deep condition your hair. Um, we put our hair through so much coloring, flat ironing, curling, blow drying, all that, even the humidity and the smog in the air is bad for your hair. So this video is good for everybody, no matter where you live, but especially for those of you who have really dry, brittle hair. Um, I pulled some facts off of a website for us so that we can be informed and how this can help us. It says shampooing t too often dries your hair out. So if you're washing your hair every single day, don't do that. You're going to dry out your scalp and strip your hair of those natural oils that your hair needs to keep it conditioned and beautiful. You actually should only be washing your hair every three days. If some of your hair is uh, out there, if your hair gets really greasy daily, you have just bigger oil glands than we do, just rinse your hair out in the shower. Don't shampoo it. Okay, maybe use a tiny bit on your roots, but don't try to shampoo your hair every single day. It's bad for your hair. Um... Gentle shampoo should stimulate your oil glands, actually, and that will help coat your hair and protect it. So oil is a good thing for your hair. Not greasy, but oily, okay? So that can be good. Um, so something I pulled up off of the... I just got on Google, good old Google, and it says the benefits of using olive oil for hair. Olive oil is one of the best treatments to nourish your hair from within. A deep massage improves blood circulation and stimulates the hair follicles and triggers new hair growth. So if you're wanting your hair to grow, this is also something that can help you. Warming the oil and applying it to the hair may provide moisture to the scalp and prevent the hair from becoming dry and brittle, thereby making it less prone to breakage, okay? So this will help for a lot of you who notice after you've combed your hair or like whatever, you're seeing little pieces of hairs on you that you're picking off. It's probably because your hair is weak and it's breaking as you're styling it. Maybe you're being a bit too aggressive, so maybe you should calm down. Um, it says also you can add a few drops of lemon juice added to the oil and applied to hair will combat problems like dandruff and lice. Oh, I don't think that I have lice, so yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you have dandruff, this is something that will help condition your scalp and make it less dry and help from those flakes from falling. So you don't need head and shoulders, just get olive oil, duh. Um, another advantage of applying olive oil is that it helps you achieve a thicker and denser mane. So if you want it to be a horse your whole life, here you go, you're gonna get a mane. Um, so yeah, this, so there's super tons of benefits of olive oil. Oprah says you should eat it every day. I'm a firm believer of that as well. So we are just going to do an olive oil hair treatment. So anyways, the benefits of a home deep conditioning system, here we go. Have you guys been convinced? Get up, get off your butt, get to your bathroom, let's condition our hair, and let's get some luscious manes growing, okay? Here we go. All right, you guys, so I just poured in some olive oil into this bowl and I warmed it up. When you warm it up, it kind of thins out the oil so you don't use as much. You don't want to get too much in your hair. Um, so yeah, I just got out of the bath and I just washed my hair. I didn't condition it, so it's just wet everywhere. So I just warmed up my olive oil for 30 seconds just so it's warm, don't burn yourselves. And if you, I don't love the smell of olive oil, so if you don't love it, just put in, what is in my hair? Oh, it's a bobby pin. Maybe I should wash my hair more often. Um, if you don't love the smell of just strictly olive oil, put a little bit of vanilla in it and mix it up. Um, okay, so anyways, I just have this bowl. I warmed it up a little bit. I'm just going to get it onto my fingertips. Uh, oh, it's oily. Can you see that? Okay, and I'm just going to start from here and kind of work back. And you're really wanting to just trigger your scalp and not necessarily your ends. It will work to your ends. But we want to start with our scalp 
and really just use small, tiny, like circular motions with your fingertips, really simulating your scalp and getting every inch of it. Um, as you massage your scalp, that will stimulate hair growth. It will get blood flowing to your scalp and like that, those facts that it will, it can actually help thicken your mane and get the blood flow going. Um, something that we also talked about earlier, if you missed it, Again, this can be really good for those of you who are dealing with dandruff and have drier scalps. This will really help um, moisturize your scalp and get, get a natural treatment going instead of chemicals. I think our hair goes through so much damage with everything that we do to it that it's kind of just like, oh, leave me alone. You know, there's straightening serums and curling serums and smoothing serums and deep conditioning serums and cleansing and... You're, I don't know, there's just so many. I just think sometimes it's bad for our hair. We just need to go all natural, you know, like the pilgrims. They had awesome hair, I'm sure. So as you can see, this is like starting to look super oily and I'm just making sure I'm really working this into every possible inch of my scalp and massaging it. Um, again, you wanna go scalp to root to the tip and end of your hair. And just take a couple minutes and give yourself a little, a little massage. Feels so good. And then go out in public because this looks really good. <laughs> good person to be like, Mom, what are you doing? So anyways, if you're new to the Carly Styles channel, I do like doing reviews on products if you guys have ideas or things you've read or heard. I really am addicted to Pinterest if you, we all are not. So now I'm going to start, start working my way down um, and just coating my hair. But anyways, I've been really like loving the at-home treatments, like do-it-yourself, because I'm a single mom and I'm financially responsible for my little one, and it's expensive to go get all these lavish things. And I think that you can have like I think that we're blessed. I almost said Heavenly Father. I think that God has blessed our land with everything that we need to provide for our bodies and ourselves to make things healthy. And so I've really always been a sucker for like the at-home zip cleaners or facial masks that you can like come up with you know with food and natural things so I'm gonna start doing more at home videos of you know kind of like the home remedies of how to get rid of blackheads or how to clear your skin or how to get a really great deep conditioning going okay you guys so it's feeling like it's pretty coated um, and I haven't really hardly used any olive oil I wouldn't recommend doing this off like a ton. I would maybe every once every three weeks could be good for your hair. I don't think that it would necessarily be bad for your hair if you did it more than that, but I think you'll just, you know, really notice a difference if you at least do this once every three weeks. Also pairing it with vitamins, taking, you know, essential vitamins that we need if you're bad at getting those in your daily diet. It's always good to make sure you're taking like an everyday vitamin, girls, guys, whatever. Um, so yeah, coat your hair, and then what we're going to do, if you're not a girl, um, just leave your hair, obviously, but we're just going to roll it into a bun, okay? Just put it on your top of your head as best as you can, and just really go around and make sure everything is super coated with that olive oil. And if you need to, put a little bit more on, concentrating on your ends. That's good. Okay, so... I feel like I'm going back to ballet practice. Anyway, so my hair is coated in olive oil. Then next, ooh, my fingers are so gross. Next, we're just going to get a shopping bag and set a timer because you're going to leave this on your hair for 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes. And you just need to get a bag and cover your head. Okay, try to get all the air. I'm going to look really hot. Try to cover or get out all the air in your little hat that you can and secure it whatever you need an elastic a bobby pin whatever it may be I look like a smurf <laughs> anyways so secure that on your head and then next you're just going to if you don't have a blow dryer that's okay it will still work greatly so look better with my ears out or in <laughs> um we're just gonna get a blow dryer and you're gonna put the heat on low and you're just gonna blow that on top of your 
head and really let the heat get that to all oil to work in. Don't get it too hot because that's bad for your hair. But just put it on your look on your lowest warmth setting on your blow dryer, and we're just gonna put it directly. This is gonna be loud onto your hair. If you want to, you can prop your blow dryer on top of your counter like this somehow with um, like a makeup bag and you can sit below it and do your at home you're at home like you're into the salon getting a blow dry so anyway set your timer for 20 minutes put it on low and blow dry that hair make sure you're really getting the heat all the way around the heat is really going to help work the olive oil in and get it into your open your loose ends and your follicles and it's going to suck it up and it's going to we're going to have luscious mane so here we go 20 20 minutes sack heads so now um, after your 20 minutes um, your hair head should be sweating it feels good though I like it feels nourishing and yeah so after you guys do that for 20 minutes we're just going to put it in the water and you want to rinse it on cool cool water um, when you heat up your hair your follicles kind of open up they're like oh Oh, like flowers, you know, in the sunlight, they open up. And so when you rinse your hair, that's why they recommend rinsing your hair with cool water so it can seal off and close um, your ends of your hair or whatever. So we're going to rinse our hair really, really good for five minutes on cool water, and then you just want to shampoo it lightly, and you don't need to condition it. Maybe if you feel like you need a little conditioner on your ends so you can comb through it, but you really shouldn't need any conditioner. Um, make sure you're using a gentle shampoo. They're saying that colored treated shampoo is the best shampoo to be using these days if your hair is colored or not, because it is the most gentle on your hair. Um, the rule of thumb is if you can't use a shampoo on your face, you probably shouldn't be using it in your hair. Um, our hair is really delicate, more delicate than we think it is, and we need to treat it carefully. So go rinse out your hair really good, really well, for five minutes on cool water, and then we're going to comb it out and let it air dry. We're not going to blow dry it. We're not going to put it through any more heat damage, okay? Um, we're just going to let it air dry, kind of finger through it. Maybe if you have naturally curly hair, you can rock the curls today. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments below how your hair is going to look um, after it's dried and how it feels. Hopefully you'll see that it has more vibrance, more resiliency in it, some shine, and it feels healthier and smoother and silkier. So yeah, I'm going to go rinse out my hair, um, let you guys know how it feels afterwards, and yeah, I want to know how you guys are doing with your hair. Alright you guys, so rinsing out the hair with the cool water felt so good. It kind of like just stimulated the scalp after all the heat and the warmth it felt good to put it on cool and rinse it out my hair feels so great and my scalp feels amazing and healthy I think when you have healthy hair you have a healthy scalp so if you're really trying to work for that longer thicker mane that we've talked about um, really concentrate on conditioning your scalp and keeping it healthy um, one shampoo I wanted to talk about that I absolutely love is this shampoo it is healthy sexy hair and it is color safe. We talked about that soy moisturizing shampoo. So it's a gentle shampoo and it is free. Um, it's sulfate, gluten, and paraben free. So it smells really good too and I really like it. You can tell that like it lathers well but it doesn't it doesn't leave residue. It's very cleaning for your hair and it feels good. So if something that you guys want to try out, it's a nicer shampoo, healthy, sexy hair. And this is a color safe soy shampoo. So anyways, I'm excited to blow dry my hair and comb through it and see how the final product looks. If you guys want to see what it looks like, check out my Instagram at carlystyles one z c a r l i e s t y l e z. That could be a cheer. Anyways, then I want to see you guys post pictures. Post them on my Facebook fan page. I will retweet them or message you back whatever but I want to see guys I really want to see your hair and if you feel like this has helped give your hair some shine I think it will help your hair style better if you have calyx it makes your calyx kind of relax a little bit so if you have curly thick unmanageable dry flaky scalpy hair this video is for you send it out to people who need it retweet it give it some love like it share it all those fun things and I don't know <laughs> shall I go get Cooper from daycare looking like this Anyways, if you want to see my final product on how my hair looks, check out my Instagram. Thank you for stopping by for Tip Tuesday, and we will see you on Friday. I think I'm going to be showing you guys an ultimate leg workout at the gym. So guys, if you think you can lift the same and keep up with me, I dare you to check it out.